Oh, well. Not an enemy I was expecting. And you're dead. Model F is all about that power, holy moly. But this is our location, too, to where Model or Model L, uh, Area L is. L1. Through the penguin. So this place is a weapons factory. I remember it well. Actually, I also remember the bio metal I use in here the most. There's a lot of things you do not want to be interacting with. And this is actually an area where you do get another sub tank through a side mission. Honestly, I prefer doing this over getting the one in area K. I always have to double check that. But this place actually has an interesting gimmick to it. It has everything to do with I think ma polarity, that's the word I'm looking for. Magnets. And bombs. It's an interesting weapons facility. But these satellites, they give off two different colors. The blue and the red. The blue one reverses your controls. The red one disables your weaponry. But honestly, if you just destroy everything on your way through, there's no issues. Except for when this happens. So now my... My left and right are reversed. As far as I know, the up and down remain the same, and it only lasts for a short while. But this is pretty much the way I make my way through this stage every single time. The more damage you deal to those satellites, the longer they stay deactivated too, if I'm remembering correctly. And this should be the mini boss. No, I am misremembering this place greatly. There's a data disk down there, but I'm not going to worry about it. And then you've got bombs coming every which way. Ones that even shoot at you! I'm going to wait for this one. And the pink ones are the ones that shoot at you. I think like my weapons weren't disabled. I know my way through this place inside and out, really. I'm missing a lot of data just because of this, but hey, if it gets through, that'll work. I'll take this one though. And the range for the uh, sonar there is interesting too. You can kind of stand in it, but at the same time you don't need to. The music here is really cool though. Ow. Take that. And then hopping on you. Do I want that? I'm gonna get it. <laughs> May as well. It's there. And. Oh, almost missed my ride. We're at the boss. Oh, this is going to be interesting because I don't have the weapon I normally use for this guy. So, I'm going to rely on the Z Buster this time. And see what I can do. Hopefully I don't hit his weak point, but my luck so far. Alright, here we go. 
This guy, because he's slow, has a very interesting pattern and style. He takes three steps and then does something. Ah, crap! That was what I was avoiding! He also has a barrier. However, if you always stand on the tops, he will try to boost himself up. And his bombs do have a set pattern. The blue ones shoot wide, the red ones shoot upward and narrow. I try to stay low to the ground so he doesn't boost himself up. It doesn't always go over very well for me. Like this. However, if you stick to the bottom... Except when he does that! I don't know how much damage that will do, but I try to avoid it at all costs. What next? His barrier. That way again. <sighs> I still can't believe I hit his weak point. It's his stomach there. It's very obvious to tell. I try to avoid it, but that was just a dumb thing on my part. that time. One, two, three. Take that. Wait for it. He keeps turning the opposite direction from where he shoots that. Very rare. Normally he stays still. I'll take that hit. It means I can shoot a charge shot. I could have had that level 4. <laughs> ah, my own dumb fault. The hidden bomb I shot thinking I could destroy it. And now we have Model P's full power. Some data disk was a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit and another data disk left by CL. Oh, this one. Yep, corrupted. Damn it! Data got corrupted, like that. Alright, we now have a means of traveling back to L and H easily. From this transover. Send in the mission report. And return over the data disk. And now, plot. So we'll return to the Hunter base. Area X1. I called it Hunter base, didn't I? Guardian base, excuse me. Been playing Mega Man X again. And before I even talk to CL, I'm repairing some biometal. Let's see, how much E crystals do I have? I can fix one full strength. Mm. I'm gonna need the most for this next area. You know what? Let's just fix my screw up. 
There we go. And can fix one of Model L's, and I'm just short of fixing one of Model L's or Model F's. I'm really gonna have to do some crystal grinding when I have some free time. If I get free time. I <laughs> it's been a busy time for me. But I do want to get this game done before the end of school. I have some free time tomorrow. I'll have to do that. Okay. So, we've repaired as much of the biometal as we can. And actually, I should show off Model P's special charge. When you give it off a full charge, hold up, release the attack, you get a barrier. Oh my god, the flickering for this barrier is not working correctly! <laughs> First time I've ever seen it like that. But it does use a good portion. If I'm remembering right, his overdrive as well lets you stealth through. But, pretty nifty. So with that, we'll get some plot out of the way, and then I'll cuddle it quits here. <laughs> Thank you! メッセージが通ってた。ライブメタルの力を受け継いだ。あなたへのメッセージ。今再生するわ。CL. This is her data log. Keep in mind I'm making out bits and pieces of this as I read it, though I do remember most of this information. Pretty much, since you guys will have the annotations, but just to clarify, CL had to use Model W's data to create Model X and Model Z. She didn't have their original DNA data like she did the four guardians. Because X's body in Zero Two was destroyed by a lip cell, and Zero disappeared in Zero Four. She has no data on them. Live metal to use the AU. The spokesperson will become the spokesperson. That's why the Prometheans are sending you to the enemy. My power. みんなに託された大切なものを守る力なんだ。私は絶対プロメテたちのように<笑> <laughs> now we can head to Area M for our next mission. However, I'm gonna stop here. I want to save this place especially since 
I'm going to be tackling not just Area M, but Area N as well. <laughs> You'll see when we get there. But for now, I'm going to save. I'll save over this one again. And I'm going to stop here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Mega Man ZX. This is Autumn Child saying I'll see you all next time.